Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs. And today, guys, I'm gonna be telling y'all why I should give multiverses a chance. And for the fans that's been already waiting for this game, I'm here to remind y'all that the wait will be worth it. And before we get into the video, if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos and you do love hearing about multiverses news, you want to see future multiverses content and videos, and also you want to see multiverses competitive play, then this is the channel for you. And don't forget to subscribe button, guys, and let's get straight into it now the first reason why you should play this game is that it is free to play guys there is no repercussion by playing this game besides your time and for you to do anything and want to see if you enjoy anything is using your time so there's no real lose situation unless you dislike the game <laughs> um number two will be that it is cross play and cross progression that means you're able to play with all your homies on most platforms the only thing that this game is not on is on the switch and mobile so i'm sorry if you're one of those main players i do apologize they have been in the talks about adding the switch and stuff but it hasn't been confirmed and there has been no news or anything about mobile for this game and then also cross progression for the people that i guess travel a lot and always switching on platforms or just prefer to switch on platforms some days then it's okay because we have cross, cross progression where you're able to do that and keep all your info and data and don't have to make multiple accounts for each platform that you play on number three is the iconic characters guys you couldn't tell me a few days ago a few days ago a few years ago that i'll be able to play as bugs with um batman or fight against him shoot you could even tell me about shaggy this meme of a character that no one thought would have happened and as became reality with his super instinct like he's Goku, like this is wild number four will be that this game you are supposed to play with your friends instead of against it the fight in genre has been a lower audience in games don't get me wrong i feel like everyone has played it here and there you know when you go to your friend house or a family event you know so there's always mortal kombat or fighting games smash something's always there for fighting you know and i feel like Fighting games don't get the much love as they want because you always go against your friends, you know, you, you game online because you want to play with your friends and for the fact that you always go against them and then, you know, some people are better than others and when they figure that out, it kind of gets boring a little bit because, you know, that friend is better. So, for the fact that this game is very based off of twos, now you're able to play with your friend and go against other people, I think we're going to see a nice spike in people enjoying this type of fighter um, coming when it releases. Number five is that the game will be refreshing for people that want to try new genre and fighting in general. Obviously, I can't talk about my experience about playing this game because of the NDA and playing the playtest, but I can say that, you know, from, you know, watching the trailer, we can see we can see that this game is very different, very unique from other fighting games, even from normal fighting games like Street Fighter and platform games itself. So, it is definitely going to be worth to try, especially people that are looking for something new like for myself, like I never thought, you couldn't tell me three, four years ago, like, yo, Bugs, you're going to want to play a fighting game. I'm like, what? What do you mean, play a fighting game? Yeah, you're going to want to play a fighting game. Yeah, probably with friends and stuff for a little bit, but that's it. But maining it? No. You, you What? You couldn't tell me that. But here I am, actually very interested into this game, and I can't wait for it to release. Number six is that this is going to be a service game. The devs listen. And refreshing stuff will be added and what i mean by that is because a service games if y'all don't know what a service game is it's pretty much um devs that are gonna constantly keep updating the game constantly gonna um keep adding new stuff and new content for the game for people to enjoy it and everything so and if you don't believe me look at the devs the devs actually listen i'm gonna show a couple stuff um well probably not a couple it's probably just one because i can't really find them all in the short time that i have but pretty much the devs are listening to the community for example um these two things happened for steven that i saw that was on twitter one where someone said oh he wouldn't have said this line for uh i think it was in the trailer he said a certain line and a fan was like oh he wouldn't say this line well, guess what they did yoink took that line out it doesn't fit the character they don't want it in it two people were complaining about how he looked a little off like on just how he how he was like i guess developed he just looked a little bit off so Again, bam, right here. They fixed him up to where he's more presentable as the character he is from his show. 
that's amazing guys for the fact that they're doing stuff like this with a small audience that they have right now imagine what they're gonna do on a bigger scale and not only that if y'all don't know tony the co-founder of player first games has been answering many many questions that we've been having for multiverses and it got to the point where there's nothing to ask anymore if you, if you like i said you've been keeping up with the multiverses news um channels and stuff that has been showing everything that's tony been saying there has been so much stuff that has been confirmed and stuff that he could confirm at the time being. Obviously, there's probably more stuff that he just couldn't say, but the stuff he could say, he has been replying for us a whole bunch of messages right there. But yeah, moving on. Number seven, for my competitive brothers from around the world, especially for my fighters, because I recently learned that fighters, they have an esports, but it's more community ran instead of like the game developers ran. For example, like Smash. Smash doesn't have any type of esports. I know they're starting something recently with the whole Tory thing, but before, out of what, eight years of the game being out, there's no real esports. There's always community events, Street Fighter, and all those stuff. I, I want to say they have something, but it's very small. And again, most of their events are all community. So I don't want to jump the gun, but I think this would be the first esports for fighting with support by the devs and ran by the devs. Not ran by the devs, you know, they're going to, you know, hire people for it and stuff. But you know what I mean, like, it's going to be backed up by the game developers itself. And I think that is amazing. So if you are interested in a new esports, you know, even if you're not a fighter, because once again, me, I am not a fighter gamer. This is something new that I'm completely trying out. But again, I do enjoy it and I love it. And for the fact that they're going to be support behind it, I can't wait to see how it goes. <laughs> um, and like I said, if you are a fighter and, you know, you're from Brahalla or street fighter or smash and you want a game that's going to support what you love doing then i think this is the new home for you guys and you should definitely give it a try number eight is my experience and it's worth to try guys again i can't say my experience you know because under nda once nda is up when the open beta oh yeah if you don't know there's gonna be an open beta for this game i don't want to jinx it but expect it by i want to say the latest may maybe even june Let's say June. I I, I want to say May, but let's just say June. That's the latest the open beta should drop, I would hope. And then the release date might be like July or August. You know, this this is my assumption. But like, just look around there for the dates for these for these stuff to drop. So, again, I can't talk about my experience, but when those days come, when I can, I definitely will. And to let y'all know from the bottom of my heart, feel about this game. But guys, the game is free to play. You have nothing to lose by giving the game a try. And I don't mean like playing a few games and be like, oh, it's okay, and then getting off. Nah, take a day or two and actually like play it, try to understand the game and see if this is something that you would genuinely want to get into, guys, because I think this game could be something big, especially for the fighting genre in general. Because like I said, most fighting games, you always go against your friends and like, don't get me wrong, it's fun for a while, but you know, it kind of gets boring because it's like, you know, you're going against your friend. And like I said, one of y'all are going to be the better person. And then when that happens, it's like, you know, it kind of dwells down. It's like, it's like when you play sports game, you know, you play sports games with your friends. After a while, when that one person gets better, it's just like, it kind of just dwells down because it's like, you already know who's going to win. You're just playing just to play. For the fact that you're able to play with your friend now, like, I know there's some fighting games that do have 2v2s, but for the fact that this game is branded on it, I think it's going to go even further, especially, you know, playing with a companion, you know, you know, a partner or, you know, a close friend and going against the people around the world. I think that's going to open a lot of doors for, you know, people enjoying fighting games more. But that's been it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Comment anything. You know, I love y'all comments. And drop some, some knowledge and some reasons why people should try this game out, guys. Let, let's try to get everyone excited for this game, man. Like, I just... I just can't wait for this game. That's all I can really say, guys. I just can't wait for this game. This game is going to be amazing. And it's the first time ever watching all my videos. And like I said, if you want to see more Multiverses news, future content, and videos... And competitive play because I will be up in there. Don't forget to subscribe button, guys. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress. But it's getting tough. Hard to find balance.